This right here is Final Cut Pro and this is the Logitech MX Master 3S and today I'm going to show you how you can use these two together in order to speed up your editing up to 10 times. Okay so the first thing that you are going to need in order to set this up is this program called Logi Options Plus. I will leave a link to that down in the description. So after you've installed it you can go into the mouse itself and now up here you should see Final Cut Pro. If you don't see it up here go to this plus and you can find it here. Okay so once we've selected it you can click on any of these and and it will give you the options to change it to pretty much anything you want. Now I will walk you through what I've changed it to. So first things first, I have set the middle mouse button to pan the timeline. You can adjust the whole speed and the direction of things over here when you go back with this arrow and go to point and scroll. Now click on scroll wheel and this scrolling speed adjusts the speed and the scroll direction adjusts which side you're going to go on. The second thing that I changed is the side wheel on the mouse which enables me to basically teleport this playhead directly to my cursor instantly when I touch it just a tiny bit and if I want to line up a title or a sound effect really quickly I can just mouse over it and now push the side scroll wheel which will enable me to go frame by frame. The third setting which I actually use most often are these two side buttons right here which I use to zoom in and zoom out of the timeline. Again, you cannot do this with just the regular settings in Final Cut, so Logitech made it a lot easier for us. And the last two are also mainly for the navigational side of things, which is the gesture button on the side. Most people actually don't even notice it, but you can use it for a lot of hidden stuff. So I use it for when I'm super zoomed in with my side buttons, I just press it down and move my mouse up and this will zoom my entire timeline to fit. And last but not least, I like to put all of my A-roll into to compound clips so when I open it up I need a way back and you can do it through this arrow right here but I set this button right below the scrolling wheel to just go back in timeline history and this enables me to go into the compound clip change whatever I want and go back really quickly. Okay so that's everything you need to know hopefully this helps and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!